Nathan Adlin here with the Fast Lane Car, and we're in northern Michigan. It's actually on the Upper Peninsula. Chrysler brought us out here to do old weather testing on their all-wheel drive cars. And it's freezing cold, and it's snowing, and Roman's in Florida. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. There's actually a couple people here from TFL Car who write for our web blog site. Uh, we've actually uh, increased production, we've doubled our production of all-wheel drive for uh, the 2013 model year. Um, it was 12% before, mix of all-wheel drives, now it's going to be 25-26%. For 2013, uh, we launched uh, the Glacier model. It's going to be a limited production model. We're going to build uh, a thousand of these vehicles. And the Glacier model celebrates the all-wheel drive capabilities and obviously the luxury, the technology in the car. We based off the model from the S, the 300S. So as you can see, the exterior is monochromatic, um, black uh, front grille, black uh, bezels and the headlamps. For the Glacier model, we add uh, gloss black mirrors and 19-inch um, satin chrome uh, Mopar wheels. These are unique to the Glacier model. And on the interior, we use a combination of Napa leather and ballistic fabric uh, in, this, in the seat inserts. There's a bit of a lull in the storm that's just hit this area. And it's still really cold, but at least it's not quite as windy. Behind me is a 600 and a 300 and I believe a 900-foot perfect circle covered with ice, snow, rocks, and dirt. And quite frankly, it is one of the most difficult driving surfaces out there, but if you have all-wheel drive, it can be a lot of fun. This is where speeds increase, but the steering input is not as intense as it is on the 300-foot circle. And Nicole is in the process of completing her first lap. What do you think? It's an entirely different drive, because you can go faster and you feel like the car doesn't have to work quite so hard. Folks, she just took a Sebastian Loeb style rally turn just now, just this very second. <laughs> that was cool. And would you say the car is doing the majority of the work? I don't want to say you're not talented. I'm but doing all the work. Okay. No, the car is doing the majority of the work. Actually, you don't have to correct a lot. Is it really starts to at the point where you feel like you're going to lose control? It it knows it, and it's it puts you back in control of the vehicle pretty quickly. Feels like the tush starts to poke out, and then it just just like now, and now it's starting to grab and it just pulls it right back in. So you are able to swing it out and do a little bit of drifting if you're so inclined, and at the same time, it'll just slowly tuck it back in. It's not savage, it's not overly sensitive. At least it doesn't look like that or feel like that. The vehicles are primary rear-wheel drive vehicles. Our customers buy Chargers and 300s because they like the rear-wheel drive feel, they like the rear-wheel drive uh, bias handling and so on. So when we when we changed the all-wheel drive system, the previous all-wheel drive system on these vehicles was um, three open diffs. It had an open diff in the center, and open diffs on the front and the rear. So the all-wheel drive car had a different feel than what people were used to. Be besides that, it wasn't very efficient. So when we, when we worked on this system, we wanted to do two things. We wanted to get back that rear-wheel drive bias and keep that. We wanted to get best-in-class all-wheel drive performance, and we wanted to be best-in-class fuel economy. It still has a rear bias, so when you step on the gas, um, if you step on it hard enough, you can get the back end to come around a little bit, even in uh, the slippery weather. But as you can see right now, I'm driving through kind of, you know, the, the way somebody would drive if there was uh, inclement weather and snow, which we've got thankfully today. And um, the vehicle's very controllable at a low to medium speed, and it does everything we want the all-wheel drive to do. It makes a person very confident. How different is this system from, say, a Subaru full-time all-wheel drive system? Well, we, uh, um, we actually changed this to an active on-demand system. A full-time system will put the same amount of torque on the front and uh, the rear wheels. And although that's good for traction, it's not as good for dynamic performance. So what we wanted to do with the character of the car is give the car the same kind of performance, 
in in the uh, in in inclement conditions, but give the car a lot more fun, fun to drive factor. Recognize this? This is the Toyota Avalon. It's one of the vehicles Chrysler brought out to test against their vehicles. I think all-wheel drive works in this weather. and it's focused on exactly where you're steering the wheel. So it's doing everything it can to get the car back to where you're steering it. You can really feel how it's aggressively trying to adjust for this very tight circle. And you just don't know what you're gonna get when it's snowing. So to have a track that is not consistent from corner to corner, is a good thing and you can recover so quickly when you suddenly realize this isn't what it was two feet ago it still lets you recover really well and it still adjusts amazingly to the changing conditions was this the coolest event ever just about and when i mean cool i don't just mean freezing cold i mean it was really fun and it's extremely informative and it's fantastic to find out that an all-wheel drive system built in america can be that advanced and i'm freezing my butt off so I'm going to say goodbye. Fast Lane Car, this is Nathan Adlin. See you next time.